He had the pleasure in Camp 1 to work with the husband and the wife, Steve, 53. Very athletic, and what you see out of lefty sometimes is that they get such a great rotation that the front shoulder is pulled up and away, thus that pulls the knob of the bat. It no longer aims at the middle of the ball. You can see it rise up here, and thus there's where the snap's going to go. Wherever the knob is aimed when you start the snap, that's where the bat head's going to go. So that rotation up and away was giving Steve the problem of always riding up over the top. And it's great if you want to hit some top spin balls, but you never quite have the consistency of having a level pro style cut swing when you're swinging like that. Again, the rotation's great, but again, knob comes up. And then the other thing it does, it makes you early a lot. It'll make hitters early. And so we had to work on really trying to get him to level it off. Right there you can see, he can hit a lot of top spin balls. He really went backside well and worked on that, but Stephanie, on the other hand, lunged, didn't use her hips quite as well. She got into a really early rollover right there. And again, that made her reach way out front. And she had some explosive power, uh, being 46, I think, and, and a, a younger. They're both top level uh, tournament rec players at home. But the rollover allows you to reach way far ahead. That's why your snap, palm down, palm up, has to squelch that rollover by hitting the proper point of contact. Uh, again, you can see here, reaching ahead and then rolling over. And the rolling over lets you reach another 8, 10 inches, 12 inches. And we wanted to get her to get her hips open better, but why, why are you looking over at the camera, Stephanie? See, you should be looking at the pitcher. Whenever you do these, you want to emulate the pitch coming in each time. But just to twist open, Stephen, the same thing. Watch the pitch come in when you do this. Try to emulate the pitch coming in and visualize. It's a great well drill to warm up. And you got to get that brace leg out and you want to rotate against it. So, something we really had to work on with the two of you. Throwing the frisbee, that's the first time I've ever seen somebody throw a frisbee over the fence, but here's why. Your rotation pulls your hand up and away, you threw it away. Now, Stephanie, good release point, trying to throw a waist high. But Stephen, the frisbee shows you what you're, you know, need to work on. Here, the clicker stick worked very well. Guide rope, and you just dominated the uh, rope trainer off the tee. Stephanie, just absolutely awesome really build some explosiveness. Here, Steve, you come down to the ball. Steven with a lead hand, karate chopping down through, snap down through, great. Again, we'll look at it from a different angle here. Rolled up over the top. Just a very persistent swing. Don't expect it to be gone in just two sessions, but expect you to understand so you can go home and really work hard on that hand. Lead hand has to guide so all the power can flow behind it. There's a nice shot right there, but you're going to tend to have an inside-out swing. Uh, nice job there, starting to squelch that rollover and bringing that point of contact back. Just again, a little bit early. One thing important on the team, make sure you uh, place it in the right spot. Lead arm drill with the swing simulator. Great. Work on the snap. Look at some swings here towards the end. It's just an awesome job of snapping through. Just a little bit early yet, but... You're hitting the ball much better farther back. Still out ahead a little bit. Got to work on, if you work on just the snap, it'll be hard to, hard to feel the, yourself going into the rollover. That's one reason why the snap is so good. Look at your swing here, Steven. You had a ton of power, man. You were hitting some balls in the 360 range. Reached 92 miles an hour at the exit speed. But again, you'd get some good swings and then go back to here. It's just something you got to continue to work on. Take the knob to the ball, uh, part of the ball you want to attack, and really drive it hard. Got much better here at the end. It's just a tough, um, tough to, to fix and isn't done overnight. Miles per miles per Good hour. aggressive swing. Nice. 61 miles per that is ass kicking right there. Hold it, stop for just for a second. Turn around and tell this back camera here. What you did on the last swing? I turned my hips. Turn your hips. <laughs> she showed the butt. Yeah. <laughs> High ones are right here. You're boom. You're axe snapping. Perfect. Great. You're axe snapping. But on the low ones, you do this. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, on the low ones, that's why we do the low ball. You ought to be able to kill it. Take it right down. Boom. Right there. Let it come back right down there. Better. 59 miles. 35 miles per hour. Nice. 86 miles per hour. 86. 
I think I think for you, you watch him, if you can drive, and for anybody, if he can drive, his rotation's so good that it wants to pull him off the path all the time. So if you can drive your lead shoulder with your lead hand, if they can work synergistically, you know, your right shoulder and your right hand doing that karate X snap, they work together, you're right on plane. 86 miles per hour. Okay, these last ones now, try to, are you aiming at the part of the ball or just swinging? I bet you just swinging. Just swinging. Okay, try to cut through, aim at the bottom half of the ball. Let it drop and cut through the bottom half. Nice. 78 miles per hour. Beautiful. Cut through the bottom half. Look at that. 85 miles per hour. Miles All right. per hour. Nice ball, look at that.